Welcome to another installment of Tech Tips by Matt Rothman. We're here live in the Watkins IT studios here in Bethesda, Maryland. My guest for today is Sean Russell, one of the senior managers here at Watkins IT. Sean, I was hoping you could explain to me and the audience out there what exactly an ERP solution is. Sure, man. Uh, ERP uh, actually stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, uh, and it's a system uh, that spans the entire organization. Uh, and it looks to service all the different departments, uh, again, across the enterprise. Okay, what would be some of the major benefits uh, for the audience out there if they were to look into an ERP solution? So a big benefit is reducing the number of systems that you have in place now. So rather than having a finance application and a warehousing and a manufacturing, you use a single system. Um, and what that really promotes is visibility across the enterprise. So again, so you know, an example would be uh, if I'm a customer service rep and I'm taking, you know, fielding a phone call, I can get information about a customer's creditworthiness, previous orders, maybe check on inventory to see if inventory is available. Um, and if I manufacture things, I might look and see about manufacturing schedule. So I can look at all those things across the enterprise, you know, that are generally stored in different systems. Okay, what ERP solution do you specialize in? Uh, so our group here specializes in Microsoft Dynamics, and that's that's two products, that's GP and that. Okay, what are they similar to uh, QuickBooks? Uh, they're not. They're not at all similar to QuickBooks. They're much more robust. I mean, those those two applications are ERPs. You know, QuickBooks is not. QuickBooks is a spoke uh, of an ERP. It's it's just going to pay just checks. Just your accounting and your financial exactly. It's going to pay checks, bill customers, keep track of a general ledger. It does a little bit of inventory, but very limited. Okay, so the ERP spans across your entire business. It does exactly. So if I was using QuickBooks and I had and I had a, you know other uh, uh, departments, HR, you know they're generally using their own product. So again, I'm going to have more. I'm going to have more disparate systems. We're going to have to share data. You know, I'm going to have data redundancy. I may have to duplicate data entry. Okay. Well, you know, I, I know in the past, you know, QuickBooks was for the the small business. At what size of an organization does an ERP solution really show its value? Uh, good question. Uh, it sort of depends on the organization. I mean, when you're talking about a, uh, a system that spans the entire, you know, organization, you know, they get to be a little pricey. Um, you know, it sort of depends on the entity, really. Okay. Well, great. Well, I mean, that, that's, you know, that's why we're here is to educate myself, educate the audience. Um, before I let you go, one last thing you can say about an ERP solution that really will you know, tell the audience out there that this is something that they really have if, if they want to grow and expand their business. Uh, they, again, I mean, the, the, the reduction of the disparate systems, uh, the flexibilities that, that they generally offer. You know, again, if, you, if you're going to compare QuickBooks, they're not even in the same ballpark. Okay, so, you know, once you, you, your business grows and you want to kind of take that next leap, an ERP solution is, is the best way to organize your business and make sure that everything and every department, everyone's on the same page. Correct, correct. The long-term play for you, if you're going to grow, is generally going to move you into one. Okay, great. Well, hey, Sean, thank you very much. I definitely learned something about ERPs. I hope everyone there in the audience learned something about an ERP solution. Uh, before I let you go, we're located here in Bethesda, Maryland. You live in Bethesda, Maryland. I do. No Bethesda is known for its restaurants. Why don't you tell the audience uh, some of your favorite restaurants uh, around town here and some of the entrees you like to Okay. Uh, number one favorite? Uh, every other week when my dad comes in town is a Lazo. Oh, the Italian restaurant. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. your favorite? Shrimp rosé. Shrimp rosé is my uh, my meal. Okay. Um, another Italian uh, Mia's Pizza. You know, oh, like, next to like like the brick oven pizza. Next to Caddy's on Cordell. I'll go to Caddy's, but go to Mia's. Excellent, excellent. All right. Well, there you go. Those are two restaurant recommendations: Alazos and and Mia's. Two of Sean's favorite. I've I actually been to those establishments too, and the great food there. So, Sean, thank you for. Uh, for coming here on the show today. I appreciate that. And uh, Tech Tips with Matt Rothman, if you'd like to be a guest on this program, or if you have any ideas or suggestions on technologies you'd like featured, please feel free to contact me. Once again, that's Tech Tips with Matt Rothman.